the uh, banks earn on assets. They don't earn on net worth. Uh, you know, you, you calculate it eventually as to what they earn on equity or net worth. But they, uh, the assets are the earning factors, and they've changed the rules so that you have to have more net worth per per dollar of assets. And obviously, if you have more net worth per dollar of assets, and you're earning a constant amount on assets, your earnings on net worth go down. Now, they they were ungodly profitable. Oh, the, the better ones were uh, back 15 years ago uh, or 10 years ago even. Uh, when they had high ratios of assets uh, to uh, net worth, and some of them even cheated in terms of having even more assets than the regulators would have allowed, and you had uh, you had these sieves, as they were called. Citigroup had a whole bunch of them, uh, uh, so they were off balance sheet ways of even uh, controlling more assets. But all of that sort of thing has been terminated, and now now they're uh, they've got much lower limits as to the assets to uh, net worth ratios, and the bigger the bank to some extent, the bigger the bank, the lower that ratio can be. So what was a very profitable business has been turned into a good business if executed well. Uh, it's a pretty simple business. I mean, if, uh, you know, you get your money cheap, very cheap. Uh, Wells Fargo will have a, uh, a trillion dollars, roughly, or close to that, of, of depositors' money, and it's, it's probably costing around 10 basis points. Now, most people think you get a trillion dollars of money and pay a tenth of one percent for it uh, would find some way to do something profitable. The, uh, but the, the banks have always gotten in trouble on the asset side. They've never gotten in trouble on the liability side, basically. But they, and they really haven't gotten in trouble too much on the expense side. But they go crazy occasionally on the asset side. And what they do is they start copying what their dumb competitors are doing. That's, that's, that happens in every business, but it's particularly uh, virulent in the uh, banking business. Uh, uh, John Stump once said, he said, I don't know why we keep looking for new ways to lose money when the old ones were working so well. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but they do, and they, and they copycat. That, that's a great danger in any business. I, I warn our managers against it all the time. If anybody comes to me and says, we want to do this because the other guy is doing it, you know, I say, go back to square one and come up with a better reason. Uh, but th th human nature is such that you do want to do what uh, others are doing. I one time was at a director's meeting where a leading property casualty insurance uh, manager, a very well-known guy, was uh, making a presentation to buy a life insurance company. He was going through all these kind of silly reasons why they should do it. And he realized that the crowd was kind of catching on to the fact these reasons were too good. So finally, he just threw up his hands and say, said, oh, all the other kids have one. <laughs> and basically, there's, there's a lot of business decisions made because all the other kids have one. <laughs>